where has impatience shown up in your life? Has being impatient ever cost you an opportunity or created frustration for yourself or others? I think all of us can probably answer yes. And it shows up all over the place. For most of my life, impatience has been a huge issue. I got feedback over and over, Dan, you need to be more patient. Dan, you better slow down. Dan, stop forcing your way through. Dan, you haven't earned it yet. Whatever it might be, I was looking for the thing. I felt like I needed it, and I needed it right now. And when I look for the signs of it, I can feel it even when I go to talk to somebody and I'm I'm listening to them for a second, and they're talking and I'm going, ah, 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 like I just, I want to get it out there. I've got to get what I say because I'm impatient to be able to respond rather than listening. All of these are signs that we're not letting things flow to us. And I definitely have found and would encourage you that when you are in a space that things will flow to you rather than you having to fight through them, you win. The shift away from impatience has been one of the three biggest shifts in my entire life, and they're the conscious result of completing the work of personal development step by step. What is the shift, though? The shift in my observation is that we go from impatience, not to patience, but to eagerness. I think one of the reasons that we struggle with it so much is we just think, I have to be more patient. I have to, I, I've got to slow down. I've got to be there. But what happens when we replace it with something that is more effective? If I had a choice between being impatient or eager, I'm going to pick eagerness. But what do they look like? Impatience is inward and downward. Impatience is almost exclusively negative. Impatience tends to be about entitlement. I deserve it. Why aren't we there? It's destination focused. It's finish line focused, which also means that when we get the thing that we were impatient for, we're already impatient for the next thing. It moves us on. Eagerness is upward and outward. Eagerness is about something that moves us forward, but it does it because we're not in a place where we're being wistful for the past or wishful for the future, but we're living in the present. It really is the truth that there is joy in the journey. It's saying, I need to be in a place of learning and earning. I need to be in a space of movement, but not teleporting to the future, not already there, but taking the path that gets me there. This is one of the three biggest shifts that we can have in life. And if you make this shift, what you're going to find is you will be not just more eager, but more at peace, more calm. And calm comes first. Calm comes at the beginning of any positive cycle that we want. Calm, clarity, focus, momentum in that order. So if you want momentum, you've got to get to calm first. And eagerness is really that path towards calm. So how do we become eager? When we start asking ourselves different questions, am I present? Am I engaged? What am I really trying to accomplish? How do I help other people? How do I look forward without having to live all the way forward? How do I breathe? We get there by doing physical practices like mindfulness, meditation, breathing. Those things help, but also by simple physical practices of having movement in our lives, of making sure that we're doing the things like exercise and walking around and talking to people and working on the things that we're meant to work on now that are the building blocks of our future. If we do those things, then we're going to get to that shift. And I can tell you, life after the shift is incredible. I, ha I live in this space now of eagerness and I'm just so happy for it. That doesn't mean I don't have impatience at times. Even when I go to record something and I have to do it nine times in a row, I start feeling impatient. I start feeling that. But broadly, I live in this space of gratitude and of eagerness for what's actually going on and for where we're really going to be going. I know that I'm building a future that is all about who I am, what I'm proud of, and where I want to be. And I would challenge you to do the same. Ask yourself in your life, what will move me towards eagerness? Test in your life, do I feel more eager? What makes me feel more eager and less impatient? Do this replacement just like you would replace 
good foods with bad foods in a diet to make yourself get healthier and to walk into a healthier path of your whole life and you will see a big difference. This is a big part of the crowning piece of personal development. Take those steps forward and I look forward to seeing you for more in the future.